Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Professor Witherun, and welcome to Witherun's Redstone College. Today we're going to be taking a look at, um, actually we have a very special video planned for today. Um, basically, what happened was, the other day, <clears throat> I saw CodeCrafted had put out a video about, um, uh, encoders and decoders. Now I already, I already knew everything he said, but, you know, it kind of brought back it kind of popped up an idea as like uh you know what could you actually do with encoders and decoders like what is every single possibility so i was building kino during minecraft which is the map that me and my buddy have been working on for some while it'll be out on the first uh, i'll put a link in the description for that in his channel below but we were sitting there and i was trying to explain to him the whole th like the entire idea behind encoders and decoders and then he showed me this thing. Well, not this one exactly. His was bigger, and then we refined it. But this is the smallest version I could get. Now, what this is is you. It. Sorry if you heard some static there. You can take as many inputs as you want, sum them down one redstone line. This is the entire output right here, and then get multiple outputs with one line. There's no redstone underneath. I'll even show you how to build it. But you can see there's no redstone anywhere from here to here. Now, um, sending multiple lines isn't the easiest thing to do, but if you have the timing and the catching the exact same time, then it's going to work. So let me show you here. If uh, my, actually, I have my output over there. Um, I was testing something. Let me grab a button real quick. Uh, Alright, so this is just doing the same thing as I would if I hit the button. Alright, as you can see, we have no levers down, so no inputs are being uh, input. So if we hit the button, signal travels down the line, and these are the, these are the three outputs, by the way, these pistons. And if you can see, no pistons have pushed up. However, if we were to, say, flip this one, so we now have the input, so the input we're reading this in binary, remember? Binary goes from uh, left to right. Excuse me. Well, it actually goes from right to left, but if you're reading it with the human eye, it should go one, or zero, one, zero. Hit this button. As you can see, this input, or this output, I'm sorry, uh, became active. And you might be saying, okay, cool, well, you, you sent one, one signal, that's cool. But let's send multiple signals, so let's say the last two. Send a pulse. One, two. Alright, well, let's send the first one. So it's going to be one, zero, one. Time of this day. Or night. Send a pulse, send a pulse. These two become active. Now this is reading multiple outputs, so it's not very useful. So if we decode this in a decoder like such, you can get eight outputs from three three inputs. Traveling, remember, across one line. Now this is just a reset mechanism for these things. I'll get into that later. But the one line that is the entire input is this one line. There's nothing else going to this machine. So once again, if we hit the button, Nothing's going to happen because we don't have any selected. As you can see, this is the zero light. And basically what that does <clears throat> is uh, takes a zero input. So if none of these are active at all, then the uh, binary output's going to be zero. Uh, I'm sorry, not binary. But uh, the binary input is also going to be zero, as you can see here. But if let's say if we go one, which is actually... One zero zero one is over here. That will activate the one swat sl swat slot. And there we go. Okay, well, let's say we wanted uh, two, so go for two. Now it does have to reset because this thing resets before it, so it resets all the numbers, and then it goes to two. Well, let's say you wanted, uh, well, 
I'm actually going to have to count in my head. Uh, let's see, where would that be? Uh, one, two, that would be three. So this would be four. So that's two. It should be right there. Let's watch. Indeed. And let's say we want it above that. Not right above that, this one. There you go. So, this thing is infinitely expandable. Obviously, you won't need that many uh, inputs, actually, because if if you run a decoder through it, then what's the point, right? You're going to have, I mean, from three, three inputs, we got eight outputs. And then you could even encode um, something into this so that you only have buttons that react with this along one line. Remember, that's the main, that's the whole focus of this is the one line of redstone that's controlling all of it. I'll show you how to build this in just a second. Here's another example, but with four. And then that's just a decoder with four. Same exact thing. Uh, there's no redstone anywhere under here. I mean, it's right down to bedrock. and There's nothing under here. Right? So, how do we get signal across? Just with multiple flashes and timing. So let's say we want uh, two and four. And go. Two, four. Alright, want to make it? Let's do it. 